China just released DeepSeek and everyone's saying it's better than ChatGPT. But is it really? Today we're putting them to the test by having both create Flappy Bird and seeing which one does it better. All right, starting off with ChatGPT, let's ask it how we can make Flappy Bird. Mm, oh my God, wait, it's generating all the sprites right now. Damn, okay, the bird. Wait, that's actually not even that bad. That's crazy, yo, it's just generating all of them. Ooh, that's not a bad pipe. All right, we'll use one of those, I guess. Background. Ooh, this one might need some work. What is that random red thing in the middle? Hey, it's whatever. AI has its flaws. <laughs> and now it gives us the steps to make the game. So let's run it up real quick. All right, so now I'm in the new Unity project and we can start the timer. Three, two, one. Uh, first thing, I'm gonna set up the project, dragging the sprites. Okay, we'll do that then. Boom, dragging the sprites. All right, then we gotta create a new game object. We'll just put it as a square, dragging the bird. Oh my gosh, come on, it can't be that big. Let's make it like that, I think that's about right. Merge body 2D and set gravity to 2.5, 2.5. And last but not least, a circle collider 2D for collision. All right, now we gotta create the pipes, drag and drop the pipe sprites into the scene, and then make a pipe pair game object. Set up a script to move the pipes left and destroy them off screen. Okay, well does it have the, oh, here it is. Here's the script. There we go. Drag it on. Pipe is not found. Well, that's not good. Weird, yo. Am I gonna have to call it quits here? The ChatGPT might take the L. I spent a couple minutes trying to fix this, but I just ended up restarting Unity and that worked, so. <laughs> All right, it's fixed. Let's see if it works. Come on. Oh, damn, it's already been 12 minutes. All right, now we got to create the background. So let's drag it on in. <coughs> uh, stay like right about there is good. Let's go, Gucci gang. All right, time for the bird script. Copy that, paste that in. Okay, let's get it, see if it works. Yay, yay, it works. Nice, bouncing up and down. And we are 16 minutes in. Okay, now we have the pipe spawner. We definitely gonna need this. Boom. All right, let's test. Uh-oh. What? This isn't good. Oh my gosh, my game crashed. What is going on? A lot of issues with ChatGPT. There we go. Oh, wait, what? Working now. Oh, no. This is not it. Okay, yeah, we need some more variability in the height, first of all. Second of all, they're spawning way too fast. Third of all... I don't know. All right, now we gotta place an empty game object called Score Trigger and place it between the pipe. Very good, then. Drag a drawn in the scene. Box Collider 2D. Scale. Right about there is good. Uh, and it is a trigger. It is. Paste. Like, I don't think it's gonna work. I just have that feeling. There we go. Yeah. Well, actually, hold on. Wait, wait, I might have messed something up. Oh, okay, I didn't, I didn't give the bird the player tag. Whoops. Oh, wait, hold up. It might actually work. Hey, 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 hey. All right, it works. But we can't die. We can't even die yet. How did like forget about that? And we are 31 minutes in, really? That's crazy. So I sent ChatGPT this prompt. <sighs> All right. Boom, we make it through the first pipe. Uh oh, I'm up. Hey, restart. All right, last step is progressive and difficulty. So all we gotta do is copy and paste this into the pipe script. Okay, and let me go for my new high score. No! Ah, uh, okay, got 11. That's the best I'll probably be able to do. Game is done, we finished in 43 minutes, not bad. Actually, no, that's terrible. That should have been like 15 minutes, but okay. Now let's move on to Deep Seek. Before we move on to Deep Seek, I want to talk about today's sponsor, Cody Tech. Cody is a platform that gamifies learning how to code. If you've ever tried learning to code online but found it boring, frustrating, or hard to stick with, Cody is designed to fix that. You can choose from a bunch of programming languages. I went with C Sharp because that's what Unity uses. What makes Cody different is that instead of dumping a bunch of theory on you, it gives you bite-sized lessons with real coding challenges. You don't need to set anything up. Just write your code in the browser, hit run, and see if it works. If you get stuck, there's an AI assistant that helps you figure out what went wrong instead of just handing you the answer. And to keep you motivated, Cody has daily challenges and weekly goals, so you're always making progress without feeling overwhelmed. And the best part is that it's free 
free, but there is a premium plan if you want unlimited usage, but for most people, the free version is more than enough. If you've ever wanted to learn coding or dive into game development, but don't know where to start, Cody is the perfect place to begin. If you want to check it out, use the link in my description. Big thanks to Cody for sponsoring this video. Okay, now we're in DeepSeek, and so I'm just going to paste the same exact prompt. Now, the problem with DeepSeek is that it doesn't actually generate sprites, so I'm just going to use Adobe Firefly to do that. I'm going to ask it for the prompts, and I'm going to put it into Adobe Firefly. So, here we go. It gave us a bunch of prompts for each sprite. I'm going to go with the second one for the bird. Let's paste that in there and generate. Bruh. Actually, fine. You know, I'll use this. Okay, time for the pipe. Uh, this is kind of cooked, but I guess I'll go with the top one of this. Time for the background, and then that's all. Well, I guess we'll go with this one. All right, so I removed the background from the bird and the pipe. Now let's start the timer. Three, two, one. So much fun. Uh, yeah. All right, this game might need some work. How much? How much time we got left? Seven. Oh, cool. We're only on 17 minutes so far. Ooh, we're on 36 minutes, cutting it close here. Will it be able to beat ChatGPT? Yeah, I think it will. Especially if it works here, we're done. Okay, let's see. Whoa, what is that? Oh, okay. Restart. <laughs> Restart. Oh, nah, what the? What do you mean, game over? Did, what did I collide with? What? This game is a mess. Absolute disaster. Oh, okay. What? Game over from what? What are you talking? Game over. Oh, cause I'm touching the ground. Hey, yo. I'll make the ground like all the way down here just to make it kind of fair. Uh, we should have a nice and polished game at this point. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Wait, what is this? Why is it doing that? All right, we should be good. We should be good, actually. Yeah, there we go. Four. Oh, all right. Let me try to be 11. If I can be 11, I think this is uh, a better game than ChatGPT. Wait, we're done. So let me uh, stop the timer. 38, 38 minutes. It beat ChatGPT time-wise, but I'm not too sure if the game is actually better. Loki might be actually. <laughs> what well, we beat 11? Uh oh. Oh, 14. Oh my lord. And the pipe just goes. All right. I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually gonna try hard to go for a high score. Oh! Oh! See, this one's more intense, I feel like, you know? The goal is to get 50. Oh my gosh! That one keeps flying. I need to lock in, yo. Oh my gosh. Alright. 23, I'm not beating that, yo. Yo, honestly, not even a bad game. Besides, th actually, this is kind of fun. This should be a game in itself. <laughs> Yo, let me know which game you guys think is better and do not forget to go check out Cody Tech first link in the description